Um, so first, I'll have you open a notebook. Open a notebook? Yes. Any. Yeah, any notebook. Empty one. Four pieces of scope. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, type this simple function into the input cell. For example, list range 10. Um, do I have to write that? Or? Oh, gosh. Sorry, I can only type in the Vorak. <laughs> you can just say no, whatever you want there. Type yeah. anything yeah. you like. It's on yeah. tray. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so something easy. <laughs> All right. Um, and if it's a function, can you go ahead and run it? Um, well, I executed this cell. I can write an actual method if you want. Um, she ran it. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're already good. You yeah. know. Okay. Um, so a new cell, uh, a new empty cell must have appeared below. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and delete it. Okay. Now add another cell. Great. And then print hello world. Sorry, I'm slow with typing on this, but we'll manage. Is it Python 4 or 3? Python 3. Okay, I'll print something else. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now, copy the first cell and paste that cell after the first cell. Copy the first cell and pa paste it after... Yeah, copy the first cell and then paste it right after. Oh, this doesn't have the arrows. Okay. Can I drag it? I guess my command C will not work. Command X now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about this. Mm. Okay. I would have expected the arrows, which I normally use um, on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, so in the last cell, change the cell type so you can write markdown text. Done. Alright, perfect. Um, now type hello in bold and render that markdown. Oh, it's a It's fine, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now insert a cell above the hello you just typed. Above that cell. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now change from edit mode to command mode. Change from edit mode to command mode. Sorry, I don't know what the command mode is. I'm not sure what the command mode is, so I'm not really sure what I have to do. Okay. Um, Alright, no worries. Um, now go ahead and move up and down the cells. Move up and down the cells. Oh, this is what I was trying to do before as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I see the copy and paste. <laughs>
without copy and pasting, I wouldn't know how to do it now. Um, whichever, whichever method works best for you. I guess I could make a new tab and move it somewhere else, but uh, I'm going to start with that. Um, and then delete the cut off. But I wouldn't know how to just move it. Okay, that's um, Okay, now select multiple cells. Um, I'm not sure about this either. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and delete the first cell. Okay. And now delete all the cells at once. All the cells at once. Delete this one. No. Yeah, since I cannot select all of them, I'm not sure how to delete all of them. Okay. okay. Um, go ahead and change the name of the notebook. Now, go ahead and uh, find where to switch your notebook's kernel. Mm -hmm. I find a tab, click on it. You don't have to switch it. Um, okay, now, uh, outside of the notebook, upload a image into the home directory. From the desktop. From the desktop. The desktop screenshot. Nice. Oh my gosh. No.
not sure. I always have to be able to drag and drop again. Mm. But that's a bit much. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely something that's in a lot of modern softwares. So um, I think that's something we want to add to it. Mm -hmm. um, definitely. Um, there is actually an upload button. Um, There's in, an upload. Oh, yeah. In I see. the file below. Yes. Area. I'm in. All right, perfect. Now use JupyterLab to open that image. Um, go ahead and zoom in and out from the image. Uh, um, I would be really curious. Oh, okay. All right. Now reset the image. Perfect. And that uh, concludes the user test, at least for the okay. notebook and the image that it was mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, um, so how much? So, have you had any experience with Jupyter at all before this? Yeah. So I worked with Jupyter before, and I coded Python. Um, I haven't heard the Jupyter lab before. Okay. Um, my husband works in Zoomer, so oh, kind of. There you go. Yeah. Very involved. That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so I opened it before. I think the commands being here on the side under commands mm -hmm. is not really intuitive. Okay. Uh, because often you would expect to be able to zoom, you know, like right, just right there on clicking on comments and then scrolling where the zoom in commands. Mm -hmm. is, um, Selecting all the cells again, probably it's somewhere in the comments here. <laughs> I don't know. Right. <laughs> uh, but you would expect to be able to do it simpler than that mm -hmm. without scrolling through a bunch of commands. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I also noticed that you cannot save a file sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. edit it and then you cannot save it. Okay. So that's right. something that I randomly discovered. Right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely been something that's popped up like quite a few oh, times. Okay. Is so, you can yeah. actually save the file, but it doesn't give you feedback that it is saved. So comments, comment desk doesn't do anything because then when you want to close it, it asks you, are you sure you want to close this because it's not saved? And if you mm. press the save command, then it saves it. Right. But okay. just command desk doesn't do it. Oh, okay. I don't know if command desk is supposed to do it all the time. Right. Yeah, uh, I think it's, it might even be control S possibly. Oh, I tried that. Oh, really? um, I tried that on the. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Definitely good to know. Um, awesome. So, let's see. Uh, what aspects of the current notebook do you think is frustrating that you'd like to see improved in Jupyter Lab? I think the commands on the side. Uh -huh. uh, I think it would also be nice to have the arrows to move the cells up and down, like mm -hmm. the notebook. Yeah. I think those would be useful. At least, I don't know, I got used to mm -hmm. right. on those. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect.